In my first video on the M drive, I explained the physics behind the idea of a tapered cavity thruster. This video is going to explain how the thrust from an M drive could be explained if we had a deeper understanding of what the exchange of photon energy represents. This could be possible if photon energy represented an emergent process with everything within that process being quantized, not just the energy, but also the inertia, mass and gravity, would be part of a process coming into existence quanta by quanta. If you say that these photons are unimportant and that they have no effect on space and time, then it is like saying that someone in a spaceship can make the spaceship move through the vacuum of space by pushing on the inside wall or surface of the spaceship. This would indeed be an impossible space drive. But if we say that space and time are properties of quanta, then I believe we can explain why an M-drive tapered cavity can form what we call thrust. To understand this, we will need a mental picture of what we mean by space and time, or space-time. In Einstein's relativity, we have space-time, but there is what I would call a chicken-and-egg paradox, in the sense that curved space-time tells the mass of an object how to move, and the movement of the object tells space-time how to curve. Just as in the chicken-and-egg paradox, we have no understanding of what came first. Was it the curvature of space-time? or the movement of the mass of the object. Understanding this is the key to understanding why an M-drive tapered cavity can form thrust, because all the properties are within this paradox. The movement of an object through space over a period of time, relative to its mass, and therefore its energy. In this theory, there is no paradox. Photon energy comes first relative to each object, forming the curvature of space-time. In such a theory, gravity is a secondary force to the electromagnetic force. This can be seen mathematically, with both electromagnetism and gravity sharing the inverse square law. Therefore, the electromagnetic interaction within a tapered cavity is linked to gravity. This has been seen in experiments. A research group at Dresden University of Technology observed a small positive thrust in the positive direction and negative thrust in the negative direction. However, when they rotated the cavity upwards, they observed an enormous thrust, much larger than the zero thrust they expected. In my first video, I explained that if the cavity had symmetry, there would be no thrust. It is only the tapered geometry that breaks the symmetry, distorting the electromagnetic energy that forms a thrust. If we imagine the Earth with its gravitational field radiating out, forming the inverse square law, the tapered geometry of an M-drive cavity will fit into this geometry. In such a position, there will be no thrust as long as the symmetry is not broken. But if we turn the tapered cavity around, the symmetry with the Earth's gravitational field is broken, and we will have what we call thrust forming acceleration. We can see here that both gravity and acceleration are based on the same universal geometrical process. This is supported by the equivalence principle between gravity and acceleration that was introduced by Albert Einstein in 1907. If space and time are dependent on photon energy, then an M-drive cavity will form its own space-time. This will be relative to the geometry of the M-drive and the rest of the universe. This sounds mad, but it can be based on Mach's principle that local inertial frames are determined by the large-scale distribution of matter in the universe. 
I will place links below to research that points towards quantized inertia explaining galaxy rotation without the need for dark matter and cosmic acceleration without the need for dark energy. If the M drive works using microwaves, the same process should work to varying degrees for the whole of the electromagnetic spectrum. These images are of a lifter that creates lift by driving ionized air downwards, forming an upward force. Many people say that it is easy to see that lifters do not have anything to do with gravity because they form this force relative to the geometry of their own axis regardless of the surrounding gravitational field but there are those who say that the lifter generates their own localized gravitational field this gravitational field is relative to their energy formed by high voltage electric charge radiating from the emitting wire at the top of the lifter. If we look carefully, we can see a purple corona-like glow of light radiating from the emitting wire. The M-drive and lifters share some similarities. Both have no moving parts, and both use the electromagnetic force with photons moving electric charge. If our eyes were more sensitive to the electromagnetic spectrum of light, we would be able to see that everything is radiating electromagnetic light waves continuously. Objects interact with the wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons, continuously forming new electromagnetic waves. This universal continuous process of energy exchange forms the ever-changing world of our everyday life that we measure as a period of time relative to the atoms of the periodic table. We have the spontaneous absorption and emission of photon energy as an emergent process with everything from plant growth to snowflake diversity being part of this universal process. Even cell life is part of this process with the build-up and organization of charge relative to the membrane of each living cell. When we look at the complexity and diversity that this simple process can achieve, it can seem logical that in the form of a tapered cavity it would be able to form thrust. Thanks for watching. Please sub and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.